Next question says, my work gym doesn't have safeties for the squat rack. Uh, when it's programmed that we do pin squats, what's a good substitute? I've been doing two count uh, pause squats at the bottom for now. Are there any others? Maybe box squats? Um, I think box squats are a good option. Um, just make sure that you're not crashing onto the box, that it's a, a soft sit. You know, like you do need to sit on the box, but it doesn't need to be uh, a crash and there shouldn't be any movement on the box. You should just squat as if the box isn't there and it just stops you and breaks that eccentric concentric chain. Uh, I think that's a good option if you're going to execute the box squat efficiently. Um, the problem with just doing more pause squats is that uh, pause squats are already in your program. So it can be difficult, redundant even, um, to do them, you know, for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. You know, so I think getting box squats in there, getting some sort of a different stimulus in there is going to be helpful. Um, you could go a different direction as well, like pin squats, box squats, pause squats. They all target that bottom range of motion. Um, I would take a look at what your, like what your deficiency is as you uh, come out of the hole with a heavy squat attempt. For a lot of people, they get some hip rise. A lot of people. So the what happens is the hips go up and the knees come back at the same time. So it's kind of a, a move like that. And it can be pretty subtle. Now, if that's your pattern when the weight gets heavy, I would recommend doing some high bar squats as well. That would be a valid substitution. Um, if you have a safety squat bar, you can use that. But if there's no safety pins, I'm pretty doubtful that there's a safety squat bar. Um, front squats would be another option. But to be honest, that's more of a supplemental lift uh, for the stage that you're at right now. So... Um, I mean, unless you have a decent level of skill with the front squat, um, actually, let me rephrase that, unless you have a pretty high level of skill with the front squat, it's going to be more of a supplemental movement uh, in terms of moving your back squat forward. So that's kind of the options that I would recommend for you. I uh, hope that helps.